I'd like to open today's video by asking you guys to do a few simple things to this video in order to help the video get the exposure I think it deserves. Number one, I'm going to need a like from you. We have to show these companies that we as a community stand together and that we support our content creators. Number two, share this video with McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Verizon, AT&T, and any other company that has already pulled their ads, or even any companies that may do so after this video has been posted. Number three is to share this video with all of your friends, your family, other content creators, fans of YouTubers, your social media, anyone who may be able to get the message forward. Yeah, I'm begging right now, and do you know why I'm begging? Because for the past five years of my life, I've been constantly learning new techniques and evolving as a video maker on this platform, and right now, all of my work is at risk of being taken from me by some journalists who have zero credibility and resort to attacking our community for their dying agendas. I, like thousands of other YouTubers, big and small, have turned this into a passion and then a dream and into a hobby, part-time jobs, full-time jobs, and right now, we're at the darkest moment in the history of our platform. Right now, our community is under attack. YouTubers across the board, from Keemstar to H3H3 to iDubs, Jenna Marbles to even me, have watched as our revenue, whether it's barely a few cents to thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's been gradually cut from anywhere to like 40% to 10% in a matter of days. Our platform here on YouTube has lost nearly $1 billion in advertising money from hundreds of companies and corporations around the world. This means that the amount of ads that there are on the site are basically slimming down so badly that most of us small YouTubers are actually not even getting advertisements anymore. People tell us that it's time to go out and get a real job, and here's why that doesn't make sense. The definition of a job is a paid position of employment or a task, piece of work, one that is usually usually paid. By definition, the work that we do is considered a job. Not only do a lot of us write our scripts, a lot of us also run brands, we get sponsorships, we edit all of our videos ourselves, we collaborate, and we love doing it. I think that's a pretty damn great job. Now because of the mainstream media, and more specifically the Wall Street Journal, our livelihoods and our passion is at risk of being pulled down. These so-called journalists, they take things out of context, they purposely skew the facts to fit their bullshit agenda, they attempt to defame us, they try and discredit our platform, and overall, they are now literally trying to destroy YouTube. So while the Wall Street Journal has been taking the time to attack our platform, especially PewDiePie, by taking the things out of context and trying to paint a bad picture of Felix as a Nazi and a Hitler supporter, the same so-called journalist who published these attacks, Ben Fritz, has said things on Twitter like this. So the Wall Street Journal, they're focused on attacking people with things taken out of context to discredit us, but they're perfectly okay with Ben here saying some pretty shitty things himself. If they had not discredited themselves enough, their witch hunt of YouTubers is certainly doing it for them. Let's be honest here, the majority of people who have seen these hacks as headlines and believed them are the people who have never used YouTube and have never watched these creators before. And if you're one of those people, I mean, you're being lied to. You're being lied to. What Jack Nickus, Ben Fritz, and the Wall Street Journal has done to lead this hate train on our community is despicable and absolutely shameful. And they deserve to have their jobs taken from them. First off, they're just shitty reporters. They skew facts. They publish these false realities in order to fit their own agendas, get them publicity, and sell newspapers. So now that we've addressed the root of the issue here, these bastards who are out to get us, let's go ahead and take a look at the reason why these mainstream media outlets are afraid of YouTube. I'm going to show you three sets of graphs here, all from Google Trends that'll explain everything to you. The first one here shows the overall popularity of the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, Time Magazine, and the New York Times. Just a few of the mainstream news organizations in the United States, and you can see that for all of them, since 2004, have either been steadily declining or declining gradually with some spikes in traffic during certain times. Maybe this doesn't explain it well enough for you. So let's go to graph set number two, where you can compare all of those publications against YouTube, and you might as well just chalk it up there. Yes, purple, that's YouTube, and that straight line at the bottom is all four of those publications. And here's the third set. This is purple as YouTube again, and the other colors are various news outlets. And as you can see, there are only five countries in the world where these outlets are more popular than YouTube. China, Iran, Kenya, Tanzania, and Nigeria. What's funny is that all five of those countries have all of the outlets and YouTube ranked at a zero in their search popularity, and both China and Iran have YouTube blocked. 
So not only is YouTube completely stomping out the mainstream media in popularity, it's barely even comparable. And that really speaks volumes behind the motives of the media to try and take YouTube down. These reporters and the organizations that they're under are very afraid of what we're doing with this website. Not only are millions of their potential customers getting their news from YouTubers like Philip DeFranco, The Young Turks, and others, it's also one of the largest search engines in the world and it is directly competing with news outlets, cable companies, and more. The Wall Street Journal and other news organizations are terrified of the impact that our community has. They don't want us to kill their outdated industry. They don't want us to destroy them, and to be frank, YouTube could easily destroy the Wall Street Journal, and it's only a matter of time before we actually do. To those of you at the Wall Street Journal, do you honestly enjoy this? Do you enjoy being a dying brand, a dying industry that can't accept change, that can't adapt to what the next generation is doing to you? Not only have you ruined your reputation, you've also advertised a message to my generation, I mean, I'm 17 by the way, you have basically told us we are scared of what your generation is doing, we are unable to tolerate change, we are incapable of being credible enough to still be a true front runner, and we are resorting to false information in order to try and take down what scares us, please do not subscribe to our shitty newspaper, please do not take us seriously, and please don't help us stay alive for much longer. So I have a plan to help this entire situation. Maybe it'll help us recover from this entire attack. Maybe it'll help spark some change. I've also taken some of these ideas from what other YouTubers are saying. I just think that if we do what I'm about to say, we can overcome this pretty easily. Look, if you're truly passionate about this website like I am, you're kind of scared, but being scared of these fuckers isn't making them back down. It's time that we all take some action and we stand up to the Wall Street Journal again. It's about time that as a community, we ridicule these assholes 10, 100, 1,000 times worse than we did when they went after PewDiePie. We need to make it clear that we as a community of hundreds of millions of content creators entertainers, avid fans, viewers, artists, producers, and talented people, we demand the firing of Ben Fritz and Jack Nickus. Tweet the Wall Street Journal and voice your opinion, email them, call them, do whatever you can to make it obvious that we as a community demand that these two scumbags of false journalism are removed from their positions. Once we've ridiculed the Wall Street Journal, and once we've gotten these fucks fired for their scandalous false reporting, let's go ahead and defeat them at their own game. As a community, let's go ahead and boycott any company that is advertising on the Wall Street Journal. There's plenty more of us than there are of them, and if we can make a boycott against their publication, a fatality. If they've decided that it's okay to publish lies and try and ruin the livelihood of thousands of content creators on our platform, let's go ahead and give them some truth and give them an option. These two scumbag fucks are their entire company. Whichever one they choose, it won't matter. It'll be a victory for our community. It'll be something that they deserve for what they've done to us. And here's a message to any company that has pulled their advertisements from YouTube and have decided that they don't want their brands being publicized in the light that very few of the YouTube videos they were being displayed on actually were. You're not hurting the bad guys here. You're not hurting those extremists and the actual racists and the people that you think your ads are regularly being displayed on. You're hurting all of us. You're hurting innocent people. You're putting some of us out of business. And in the end, you're being truly misinformed by the Wall Street Journal. What they did was cherry pick a select few examples to fit their twisted narrative and presented you with a false impression of what the general YouTube community is like. Now you have advertisers have helped fuel the careers of thousands of us with passions and by boycotting our website over this false information, you're not only hurting us, you're hurting yourselves. YouTube is a huge platform and what you've done has scrubbed your ads clean of the entire platform, one that gets over 300 billion searches per month. Your businesses may be harmed throughout this boycott which is truthfully fueled by the hatred of an industry that is scared of our progress. And we urge you to come back and be part of this community again. Help us once more fuel our dreams and help yourselves. Don't fall for the lies of media sources that have a dying industry, please. To wrap this whole thing up, guys, we've got to do something to these outlets that are trying to kill us. We have to fight back. As a community, we need to just band together and get rid of these assholes. Let's push to get these cowardly reporters fired, or let's just take the whole company down and band together as a community. Let's show advertisers the power that our platform holds. I see this graph, and I see that we have true power over these fuckheads who are trying to take down our website. It's easy to tell that they're afraid of us, and when they're afraid of us, we need to fight back against the bullshit they're putting on us.
Let's show advertisers the power we really do hold. Let's boycott the companies that advertise on the Wall Street Journal. And here's a graph for you companies that advertise on both. Which one do you really want to go ahead and advertise on? Which one do you want to be on the wrong side of here? Do your part to save this community and fight back. In the end, regardless of what your stance is on us making money for our craft, making money makes us creators make better content. We have better equipment, we have more drive, and we have money to pay our fucking bills. We don't have to go out and work some 9 to 5 job. You know, we get to make more videos, we get to make them better, and in the end, that benefits the entire community. I also strongly urge any of you who are just watching this and you're an avid fan of YouTube, any of the YouTubers you watch here, if they take any sort of donations, go ahead and go drop them a little bit of money. Make sure that they can pay their bills next month. Make sure that they can keep striving to make the videos that they want to make. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to show it the support with a like and share. Subscribe for my other content. This is Optimus, signing out.